Barracuda. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to be back. I have not done one of these videos in a while. It's time for my faves and graves. I can't remember the last time I done one actually. I think it was months ago. So I have got brand new products that I want to show you that I've been loving and using quite frequently. And then on the other hand, I do have products that I just Okay, so without further ado, let's just jump into the video, shall we? BAM! So, the first product I want to talk about is a makeup product, and it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick. This is in the colour Milkshake. Mmm, it's so, so pretty. It is so moussey. Oh, it feels so good on the lips. The only thing is, I would say this is a little bit too light for me. It just doesn't go as well with my skin tone, but I make it work by putting it in the middle and highlighting. If you really do like a nude lip, this is the one to go for. It is beautiful, it is messy. It doesn't dry down too cracky on your lips. You know how liquid lipsticks, I think most, like all of them do that, let's be honest. And I feel as though we're all sort of slowly moving away from liquid lipsticks. The whole matte thing is slowly dissolving and gloss is coming back in, which uh, I'm not really that big a fan of, but whatever. It's makeup trends, ain't it? I am actually wearing it right now, mixed in with some of my Barry M liquid lipstick. So again, that was in the colour Milkshake and gorgeous packaging, gorgeous product. That's all I've got to say. Next product. The next product I want to talk about is something I've been obsessing over recently. Well, not recently, it's been months now. But I do believe it's one of the best things for the skin if you really need to moisturise your skin. Oh, rose water. I am just showing you this one in particular because it's the rose water I had handy. I put another rose water in this. I actually put in the 100% natural rose water that you'll probably find on Amazon if you search rose water. It's probably the first one to pop up. I put it in this because this is a spray bottle when the other one was just a lid that you poured out and used as a toner basically. But I love spraying it all over my face. It's just so refreshing, so moisturising and you automatically feel as though your skin is dewy and supple. But I did get this original Botanic Australia Rose Water Face Mist from TK Maxx at one point and I went through it like that. Rose Water has become one of my must-have skincare products. Just make sure it's natural, it's real rose water and it's not full of shit and preservatives and stuff. We don't want that, we want 100% pure natural rose water. You oh, the difference in your skin, you just feel so youthful, I love it. And the smell is so refreshing. Since we're on the topic of rose water, I have been loving this Garnier Skin Active Rose Soothing 48 Hour Moisturiser. It is for dry and sensitive skin and it is made with rose water. It is 96% natural ingredients, okay? So it's not 100%. The 4% in this is sodium hydroxide, which is a known evitant. So this may not be good for your skin. I'm just saying it's one of my faves right now because it does have rose water in it, it does have glycerin and it does have vitamin E. So I love using this before I put on makeup because it makes my skin almost feel sticky in a way so I know the foundation and stuff is going to stick to it. It smells lovely, it feels so moisturising on the skin guys. The remaining 4% ensures a good preservation of the product so they basically just have to add that in so this lasts longer. It is a vegan product and it is 100% recyclable. I think I'm just loving it because it is rose water and glycerin to be honest, that's like Two of my favourite products to use before I put on makeup. When I'm going to shove a shit ton of makeup on, like foundation, setting powder, blush, bronzer, blah blah blah, concealer, I need something that's going to basically be a barrier before I put all that on my skin, you know? <laughs> Not sponsored. Another fave of mine is something I bought recently and it was only £4 from Revolution. It is their Mega Bronzer in the colour 02 Warm. Now you can get a cool version of this, I just decided to get warm because I am loving the whole tan look recently. The only issue I do have with this product is it is so, so powdery, so be careful. It is extremely pigmented though, so you only need like a dab. Don't go overboard or your face will be just orange. I've been using it going to college recently and I have no complaints, okay? So try it out, if you don't like it, you don't like it. There's not much else I can say about it, it is a bronzer guys, you know what bronzer does. Check it out. My next fave is the thing everyone's been talking about right now. The e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This is it here. I have been using this recently going to college for my days where I 
very rarely wear a lot of makeup. I used this on my friend's mum's skin earlier tonight before I done her face and I did realise like, a difference. It, it doesn't, it wasn't like a massive difference obviously, but it did do what it says on the tin pore list. I did feel as though it does cover up my pores. I put it in certain areas, to be honest, I don't put it in certain areas, I put it fucking everywhere on my face. <laughs> because I am a man and I'm a poor motherfucker. Yeah. Elf has really stepped their game up. The only thing I would say about this pull this primer is because it is a putty-like substance, I realised it picks up every tiny little hair or anything you've got in your hands. It can be so minuscule that you may not even realise it's there, but this party will realise it's there, trust me, and it will clip that bitch right up. So, if you get a hair on it, it's probably going to go in your face, try and pick it off and stuff. I can already see a blue sort of hair right now, so that must have came from my head. Yeah. I would say you're not going to notice massive results, because let's be honest, with most primers, it's not going to be life changing. It's just going to do a little, and sometimes that little makes a massive difference. So don't think by putting this on, you don't have to take care of your pores. You still have to do your skincare and stuff, guys, okay? So don't be tricky bitches, don't be lazy ass bitches. Use it, yes, but continue with your skincare, okay? <laughs> Tone. My next fave is actually a mascara, and this is so generic, I know. But this is the Grey Lash Mascara by Maybelline and this is lots of lashes, very black. Now if you notice the head is weird shaped. The reason why this is in my face right now is because of the head. <laughs> That's what she says. So as you can see it sort of goes in like a point and I figured out this is amazing for bottom lashes. Most mascaras come with like those big massive fucking brush ends and it gets real messy underneath when you're applying. This is great for basically applying every individual lash and keeping them doll-like almost. I have just been loving this for my bottom lashes. I never thought a mascara would be in my faves to be honest, but this is a classic. This is one of the first mascaras that came out, I think, ever by Maybelline. They created the whole mascara in a tube with a brush thing and it went everywhere. So I can understand why they've kept it around and yeah, it really does create great lashes. But there you go, <laughs> there you go. Not much else I can say about this, it's a mascara. You know what to do in a mascara, okay. The next fave I have been loving for my natural days, for college and just day to day, where I feel as though I can just throw it on and I don't have to worry, it's actually a concealer and it is by Ramel. It is the Lasting Radiance Concealer. I love this packaging, to be honest. This is in the colour Ivory. It is so nice and light for under the eyes. It's great for natural days where you just want to, you know, pop it on, little dots, and use your finger, like those kind of days. And when I've got this on, I don't have to worry about it oxidising and going weird. I just know it works and it does brighten up your under eyes in the morning, especially if you haven't had a lot of sleep like me right now. It is 5.17 in the morning, so yeah, when I wake up, I'm probably going to have to use this. Moving on to another favourite. This is actually something I didn't think I would ever like. It is a liquid highlighter and this one is by Wet n Wild. It is the Hello Halo highlighter. And this is in the colour Halo Goodbye. I'll see what you did there. This is a really beautiful liquid highlighter. It leaves a beautiful, almost wet look to the skin instead of a glittery look. And I love that when a highlight looks wet. I don't know what mine looks like tonight. But just like any other liquid highlighter, they are usually hard to work with. So I wouldn't jump in and start using them if you're not used to them. Don't add over powder. Okay, please. Put this on over foundation before you powder. Please know that it does dry in pretty quickly, so do one, you know, point at a time. Don't dot here, dot here, dot here, dot here, and then think you're gonna blend it all out perfectly. It's not gonna work like that. I figured out for me the best way to use this and make it work is to use my ring finger and dot it on my cheek until it's all blended out. I don't use a brush, I don't use a sponge. I've tried it and I just feel as though it doesn't blend out as good and it looks a bit streaky it almost it just almost doesn't blend unless you do use your finger so it can be a difficult product to learn and get used to liquid highlighters but when you do get the hang of it it does leave a beautiful glowy dewy 
wet look. But okay, talking about glowing, my next fave is the Ambient Lighting Palette by Hourglass. Oh my god, this has changed the, this has changed my life. So we have a highlight in the middle, one for basically setting your face, and then a bronzer. Using all these products at once, your skin will be soaking wet looking. It is amazing. You can buy them individual, but I would just I would, I would rather just buy this because I'm getting all three products for a cheaper price. I just love it. Look at all, I mean, you can clearly tell I've been using it. So I am wearing this tonight. I don't know if you can see, but it almost leaves your skin very soft looking. I don't know how it's possible, but a makeup product has now changed my life. Anyway, my next fave is a spray. It's called Prime Time by, no it's not, yes it is. <laughs> Prime Time Replenishing Spray by Coop and Daisy. I don't know how to explain it, but it, it just smells like refreshing summer. It smells like fresh air. It smells like fresh air with, you know, like flowers and all that shit. It just smells so good. I don't know how to explain it. I'm shit at explaining stuff. But this is a priming water, basically. It's very hydrating. It has infused botanical extracts that give your skin a healthy all day glow. Again, this does have rose extract in it. It has coconut water water, it's regenerizing spray, perfect for restoring moisture, leaving skin soft, smooth and ready for makeup. This is nearly finished. I have tried googling everywhere for it and it's so hard to get it. That's the thing about shopping at TK Maxx. If you find something you love, it may not be there again next week or whenever you want to top up and buy more products, it may not be there and then you're pumped. Oh. I have checked online for it and it's pretty hard to find it. I don't know if they have changed their name and rebranded their packaging and stuff, but I will find it. I am obsessed. And the size of the bottle, 6.5 fluent ounces. I just want to spray it right now, but I've not got much left. I just love it. So I know it's supposed to be a priming water, but I do spray it before and after. Whenever I feel as though my skin needs a little pick-me-up, I'll just spray it on. And everyone I have used this on, like Michael, Ross has tried it, Redwina's tried it. They are all loving the smell as well. It just feels so refreshing. I don't know how to explain it, but it is definitely replenishing, as it says on the tub. My last favourite is actually a lip gloss, and I never thought I'd say that, but yeah, it's a lip gloss. This is by a brand I've never really heard of, but I seen it when I was walking in Body Shop, I think it was, with Ross, and it just caught my eye. It is this Cosmic Crush Holographic Lip Gloss by Sunkiss. It is so beautiful on the lips. It just gives your lips this, you know, multi-dimensional look. It makes the lips look so suckable and just want to lick them up. It's such a beautiful colour as well. Now, it doesn't actually look like that colour on the lips, obviously, because it is holographic. The colours do shift with lighting. And I think that's what makes a perfect gloss. See something that can shift with lighting and make your lips look even more juicy. Mmm, perfect. I never thought I'd say that about lip gloss, but I'm saying that about you, baby. Anyway, yeah, that was my last favourite. Sunkissed Cosmic Crush Holographic Lip Gloss. <laughs> so, my first grave, which I am so disappointed about because I was looking so forward to this. I thought this was going to be game changing, life changing, it was going to be my new favourite product, I was going to use it every day. But no, you guys know how much I rep this company, but they have let me down. They have let me down, I think for the first time. I didn't want to say it, but my first grave is the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Concealer. This is one of the worst products I have ever used. It is not hydrating at all. It dries down so matte and shows every one of your pores. I put this under my eyes to check it out with nothing on, just moisturizer, just to see how it oxidized and stuff before I tried to use it. Put it on, five minutes later, I could see wrinkles that I didn't even know were there. That's how dry this fucking thing is. It's not hydrating at all. I'm really pissed off at Revolution for putting that on this. I don't know who greenlit this and said, yeah, that's perfect, put it out. Who are they testing this on? That's all I want to know. Do they even test it on any human being? Because if they did, if they tested this out on one person, they would have known that it sucks. If they tested this out on 5,000 people, they would have known that this sucks. Everyone would have had the same opinion. It is not hydrating at all. I, I don't even want to get into it, okay? I'm, like, just, I'm not even going to waste my time. I don't know what I'm going to be able to use this for now. Like, Tipex, maybe? I don't know. Ew. Just know, one of the worst products of 2019. There, I said it. Oh, damn!
Just gonna leave that there. I'm done talking about it because I'm getting angry. The next product I wanna talk about is this Magic Mist by Technique. I just picked this up because, the, like, look at this. It looks really pretty in the bottle. It reminds me of that Rihanna thing by Fenty Beauty, the body glow. This is just glitter in a bottle. I sprayed this on my face thinking it was just gonna give me a dewy glow. I walked outside, I was wearing a black t-shirt, I looked down and you would have thought I was in some like gay disco all night, just glitter everywhere. I don't know who would want this for their skin, I don't see the point of it at all. But to make use of it, I have been spraying it on my body and yeah, it's fine on the body. It gives your skin a nice sparkly finish. But then again, I could just add glitter into a fucking moisturizer for the exact same effect. <laughs> I just don't get these sort of sprays. I think MAC came out with one as well. What is the point of having a setting spray with glitter in it? I just, I just don't understand. Maybe that's your thing, good for you. If you have been following me for a long time, you know I love glitter, but just not all over my face like this, like no. The next spray I wanna talk about is probably something people are gonna be like, what? I assumed I was gonna love this as well, I really did. But I've been noticing a few things that I don't like about it. So the next spray is the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place. I thought I would be using this every single day I done eyes, but no, I haven't. The sparkles are really good, the ones with the glitter in them, these ones, dun dun dun. I do use the orange colour for blush, that's it. These sparkles are good, but I very rarely use them. There is nothing here that you could really make an amazing eye with. You can make one or two eyes, I would say, and that's you done. But I've noticed the purple especially when I put it on my eye does not blend, does not go anywhere. If you're packing that on there, it's staying there, okay? When you try and blend it out and buff it out, it just does not work, it doesn't blend. I don't know how, it just stays there. I don't get how a powder just can't blend and go a little bit smoky, it just doesn't work. So yeah, this palette has not came in handy for me at all. It has got beautiful colours in it as well, but I just don't use it as much and I really wish I did. It may work for you, it just doesn't work for me, okay? But I do like the glitters right here, they're so pigmented because it is a pressed pigment palette. The glitters are worth putting on as toppers on eyes. I don't even think I've used this colour, this brown here, and I don't even think I've used this red, so yeah. The last grave of mine is a weird one. This is, this is going to make me look stupid, but okay. I needed an eyebrow gel, you know, like a like a brow gel, just for college days when I couldn't be bothered filling in my eyebrows. I just wanted to brush the gel into my brows and make me look fucking flicky as fuck. So I picked this brow tint up by Revolution and I put it on my eyebrows. I mean, it just looks like an eyebrow gel. I pulled it out and realised the tip was like this. And I'm thinking, wait, is this an eyeliner? What the hell is this? It's a bit thick to be eyeliner. I tried to use it all over my brows. I done the best I could. I used a spill to brush it out and stuff. It was just horrendous. <sighs> this is how stupid I am. I went outside, done my stuff. I was out with Ross, we went a few places. I left that on all day, went home. And then Michael said to me, oh my God, is that that brow tint by Revolution? The stuff you leave on for two hours and it tints your brows? What? I've had this fucking thing on for about eight hours. What do you mean tint your brows? Yeah, so apparently I read it wrong. It's not a brow gel, it's a brow tint. You basically paint it on your eyebrows and after two hours, it tints any hair you have there to make it the color you have chosen and mine's was dark brown. It's supposed to last like three days. I had it on for eight hours and I still have like my blonde bits in my eyebrows. So yeah, not the best product. Sorry Revolution, that's two. Graves this time. Revolution, you better step your pussy game up, guys, because you are my favourite fucking beauty company. Anyway, guys, that is my faves and graves. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you have any questions, just put them in the comments down below. Be sure to hit like if you do enjoy these type of videos, because then I can know what type of videos you guys want when I'm looking at my algorithm and stuff. I am taking into account what you guys want to see, so if you do like this type of video, please be sure to hit the like button, just so I can see if I should make these videos more often or what, you know? Does that make sense? Thank you so much for watching my video, guys. I really do appreciate it. I love you big much. Be sure to hit subscribe, like, and all that other journey bullshit and start here. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Ooh, barracuda.